God, that you're going to show up and that you're going to do what you need to do in the body of Christ. Father, we thank you this morning for your unfailing love. We thank you this morning, oh God, because you are a God of grace. You are a God of mercy. You are a God who loves in spite of our faults. You are the God who looked beyond our faults and you saw our needs. So God, this morning we say thank you. We say thank you, God, this morning for being patient with us. We thank you this morning, oh God, for just touching us with a fingertip of love this morning and putting in our spirit, oh God, to press, oh God. We thank you this morning, oh God, for how we slept and slumbered last night, oh God, and you protected us from the snares of the enemy, oh God. We thank you this morning, oh God, for the activity of our things, oh God. We may not feel our best this morning, but God, we come this morning to give you our best. Because you've given us everything we need, oh God. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sin, just so that we would be set free, just so that we would be delivered, just so that we would be healed in the land of the living. God, we thank you this morning. We thank you, God. And as we begin to worship on this morning, God, we pray that you would show up, that you would visit each and every one of us, oh God, in a unique way. That on today, God, that whatever we may have entered into these gates with, whether it be I just don't feel good, whether it be depression, whether it be uh, I can't pay my bill. Whether it be, I just don't know what to do. Whether it be, I'm depressed on today. Whatever it is, oh God, we call on your spirit, oh God, to lose today. And to move in a mighty way. And we lift up the man, oh God, who would bring forth and bring the word. Oh God, we pray that you would feed the man from heaven. That he would feed your people, God, that our lives will be changed and and God, that we would walk the way that you told us to walk. That we would open our eyes, oh God, not just in the natural, God, but we'd be able to see the supernatural on today. God, I pray that somebody may enter into these gates this morning, oh God, that they be sick in the box. But I decree and declare, God, according to your word, by your stripes, oh God, they are his. We are healed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So have your way, God. Have your way, God, in this vessel. Have your way, God. That you, God, will get the glory out of our lives. You do this for us, oh God, we be so careful to get you all the praise. All the glory. Let us do your thing. And if I have a believer in the house, say amen. Amen. Psalms 1. I've been in my spirit this morning. Psalms 1. The King James Version will be just fine. And as we look at these words, it penetrated our heart. Because God speaks in every word. But there are some words that he definitely speaks through and in. And, and, and this is a, an awesome. After our revival on last week, my whole mindset has been changed. I am so grateful that God allowed me to be in the house of worship all week long. And he didn't have to do it, but he did. Psalms 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor
nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight, somebody say my delight, is in the law, is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, do say I meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Somebody hit me personally say, and I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Say to the son, prophesy to the son. Go back this morning, Jack, to verse 3. Whatsoever I do shall prosper. Because I have been like a tree planted by the river of water. And I will bring forth fruit in my seed. That's awesome. Because whatever I do shall prosper. If I do it in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Verse 4. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. My God. My God. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. That's a mouthful. But I choose to serve the Lord today. The Lord has been good to me. And I know he's been good to you. And some people say, you know, I don't know about you, but I do know the Lord has been good to you. Because you're here this morning, blood running warm in your body. And you know before we knew the Lord, he was still good to us. I know he was good to me because he could have cut me off a long time ago. But because of his grace and because of his love and his mercy, God gave me an opportunity to get his line so that I may walk according to his purpose. I'm excited for today about what God is doing in the body of Christ here at Zion. Because we are a people that cannot stay the same. We are a people that last week is not sufficient for this week. So it is my prayer this morning that God will give us hunger, that we will thirst after his righteousness, that we may prosper in all of our ways, that when we speak, things will happen. Amen? Let us worship this morning. Let us give God our best. Because he certainly gave me his son, Jesus Christ. Divided Yeah. 
uh, our building fund, our uh, uh, special table is still here for those of you who would like to pull up again to make sure our building is kept up uh, from the roof to the ground.
as I tell people everywhere I go, it's not by accident that we are still in the land of the living. It's because of a divine purpose that we have not yet fulfilled that we are still here. We know that the time is well spent, so we're not going to worry this morning, but we pray that the word of God minister to you this morning in a way that it will change your life. Because in this day and time, I have come to realize that if there is anything that needs change, it is us. We ask that you turn in your Bibles to John, the sixth chapter. John, the sixth chapter. We want to note that 66 through the 69th verse. And it reads thusly. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. God's word is already blessed. May God bless the hearers and the doers. I want like to talk to you this morning briefly on this thought. Jesus is all you need. Jesus is all you need. As I look around at life, I see many needs that we have. In this country, we need to be more unified. There needs to be more love instead of hate. There needs to be joy instead of sorrow. I have found that we as Christians and believers forget many a time that all, not some, but all of our needs can and will be met if we but just only go to the source. Jesus has promised that he would supply our every need according to his riches in book. In today's life, there are many people that are going through life day after day worried. Some are even worried about things they have no control of. Right. I heard a farmer worrying the other day about whether or not it was going to rain. His crop was burning up in the field. We have no control over that. But I know who does. The rich worries because he feels as though he has something he has to worry about. The poor worries because he don't have what the rich has. The educated worries because he feels and thinks that he has learned the art of how to worry. The uneducated worries. Simply because you don't know any of them. The old word is because they feel as though they don't have long to stay in this life. The young words because they feel as though they have a long time to live in this terribly toxic world. I stopped by to tell somebody today, worry never solved one problem. Worry never paid one bill. Worry never put one meal on the table. Only thing that worry does is give you really hair, headaches, and high blood pressure and rush you to an early grave. I used to have a 
each of us to know that we must take up our cross and follow him there. In doing so, if we do that, he didn't say it was going to be easy. But he did give us an assurance that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Looking at our text, our text comes just after Christ had fed the five pounds. He had proved that he could meet man's physical need. But I think to tell you today that people, a lot of times, people will do just like they did in Christ. People will be with you as long as they can use you for their benefit. Now the crowd of uh, uh, was following Christ, they were not interested in his, him as a savior. They just wanted what they could get from him. The same thing goes on today. People will pat you on your back. As long as things going well. Would you let the dark clouds and Life rolled in, things and, and things get kind of shaky. They'll soon start feeling out. Same folk that talk to you and say they will be with you to think and thin. When it gets thin, they roll thin. Huh? It is so easy for people to say amen when the preacher is talking about what God can do for you. What God will give you. It's easy. But what about when he starts saying about what we need to do for God? Yeah. All of a sudden it gets silent. Yeah. But see, this is a two-way street. Yeah. God said he would do thus and so, but there is a, a, a also something we have to do. He said, if my people that are called by my name will offer themselves, seek my faith, <coughs> turn from their wicked way, and pray. Then I will hear from them. I will heal their land. Yes, sir. We need, what do we need? Well, first of all, we need forgiveness of our past sins. A lot of folks, are, can I say it this way? A lot of folks are sitting in church Sunday after Sunday and still living in sin. I said, I will forgive you of your sins and remember them no more. We must first repent. That means you've got this heart. And then turn. Turn away from our sin. We can't still do the same old bad thing. We got some folks sitting trying to hold the world in one hand. Hold the church in the other. We'll straddle the things and it don't work. Well, what else do we need? We need salvation that only Christ can give. Buddha can't save you. Confucius can't save you. Only Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and I. Shed the innocent blood that we might have the right to the tree of life. Jesus is all that we need. We need help in the present. Some of us are living in the past. Some of us are stuck in the past. We, we don't want to go far because we got our car in loose and we just stuck. But I, I stopped out here to tell somebody today you cannot go far in reverse. You've got to have help for the future and the present age. As I look back in time, if you will, I see a few patriots that if I called on them this morning, they would tell you that Jesus is all that they need. If I call Elijah up there on Mount Tom, he would tell you that God is all right. 
He will tell you he's a God that answer by fire. If I call on David, David will tell you the Lord is my shepherd. And I stand not woman. If I call on all the signs, they will tell you he's a lawyer in a toy room. He's away out of glory. If I call on the woman that had the issue of blood, she would tell you this morning, he's a doctor above all doctors. If I call on the blind man in this morning, he would tell you, he's my sight. It's in him that I receive my sight. I don't know about you this morning, but I stopped by to tell somebody, he's my doctor. When I'm sick, he's my lawyer. When I'm in trouble, he's my joy. When I'm in sorrow, he's my hope. For tomorrow, he's my friend. When I'm in bed, maybe the midnight hour, when everybody sleeps on time, I can call it out. Jesus, Jesus, I don't. I don't need him. 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 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added. He's everything that we need. Don't fool yourself. He's more than everything. I found it to be joy in some. When my close friends walk away, he's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. He's a very good man. He's my bridge over trouble war. What about you today? Have you made it in? You're all in all. Only thing you have to do. He's telling God, come into my life. I want you in my life. And I can guarantee you, he will feel the need. Every need that you have. Because if the cattle on a thousand hills, the thousand hills that the cattle on belong to my father. The silver and the gold belongs to him. Why should I be like a child whose father owns the bank? I'm standing in the middle of the floor crying. I'm home. He has everything already laid out for you. Only thing you got to do is know how to ask him. No good thing will I be told from them that love me. Somebody needed to hear that. Somebody's going through it, don't know how they're going to make it. Somebody don't know how they're going to make ends meet. I want to let you know today that don't worry about it. Put your trust in God. Look to Him. Look to the ear. And when it's coming to your life, all of your life, not some, but all of your life, come from God. It's good to have friends. It's good to be able to talk to folks that are somewhat rely on friends. Let me tell you something. Friends will let you down. And if you put your trust in God, and tell God, Lord, here I am. I'm just an empty vessel. Use me. Use me. I can't 
guarantee that you will never leave not the same. When others cast you down, he will lift you up. I don't know who I'm talking to, but stop trying to figure out what God has already worked out. You stop trying to make a way. Because he said, I am. Amen. All that you got to do is get in. Get in his word. This is only way we're going to know him. Is get in his word. When you get in his word, in his word, get in you. There will be a change. Such a drastic change. People will see it. And inquire. What makes you what you are? Jesus. I want what you got. God bless you. Bless you. God keep you. I'm not a long preacher, a long way preacher, but I, 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 I thank God for what He is to me. That's a guy. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not a TV Jakes. I'm not a Billy Graham. I'm none of those things. I just use what God has given me. God bless you. Amen. Oh, thank you. Come on, say to you, God, some praise to Jesus is all you need. Thank you, God, for dancing the world. The word that is reminding us. Jesus is all you need. Listen, as you stand on our feet, just call. Yes, God never said a word without a spirit to hear the word. Yes, Lord. And I don't know, I just believe that there's somebody in this call who has never accepted this Jesus. That Jesus and all you need might be looking and searching and wondering, traveling and undecided. But this morning, the Lord said that He's all you need. And if you are in this house this morning, you're going to give your life to the Lord. I mean, really, give your life to the Lord. Maybe you've never been baptized, or maybe you've been baptized, but you have never given your life to all. You need it. We will extend the invitation. If you can come right there and say, God, I have decided to the preach word this morning. And you are all I need. You can come just as you are. One of the things I love about coming to Jesus, if you come to him, he will take you just how you are. You don't have to clean up anything. All you got to do is come and let him be clean. Come on, come on, come to Jesus. We will not forgive you because Christ has not forgiven. If you are here, you can come. If you are here, you want to rededicate your life. You can say, listen, I've heard the word preach. And that means a time when I am trying to depend on something other than Jesus. But now I'm going to come back and say, Jesus, I have decided this morning that you are all I need. And if you are here, you can come and say, You are. My brother, my sister, you can come and give it all to Jesus just as you are. What a wonderful God we serve. Now, I know, I know, I know the guy. Has been the word has already gone for. Maybe you are here, and I mean, I'm not bad for it, but maybe you are here, and that you have already given your life to Christ. You have already, you are already following Jesus. But in your life, there are some dark, dark places. And you come to church this morning with high expectation that God is going to do something miraculous for you. If you are here, you can come to the altar right now. 
and, and, and be prayed over because I believe that one touch in a room that's not going to get the name but that is a spirit of agreement that if you come that God can bless you right where you are. If you're just here this morning and you need special prayer, you can come to the altar right now. Pastor Jackson is still here. I'm here. I'm the hey, I'm the preachers are here. You can be prayed for right now. Don't go away from this service. Knowing that you're in me and you're going to come and get your knee open. All right, everybody's okay. We'll get ready to be dismissed from this service. Pray that you will be in worship somewhere and in other. We certainly extend the invitation to you at 11 here today, in five this evening in Fredericksburg. Want to make sure that we learn all we can about Jesus so that when we are not in church, we can feel good even though we, it looks bad. We can stand up even though it seems that we have been not found. So we encourage you to continue to worship. Pastor Jackson, again, we thank you so much for stopping by and blessing us this morning with the word of God. And I so want to thank all of you who have gotten up early this morning to come to the house of God to worship him. May your day be an exciting day. And may next week be such an encouraging week to you that you can look back over your shoulder by the end of the week. I was so glad that I gave God some time on Sunday by way of worshiping in some church with somebody. May God bless you, may heaven smile upon you, and may the grace of God follow you through today and the rest of your life. Let's give God some praise in the house and reach your team this service.